This is a macadamia nut tree farm located in Kanyambeho village in Chico Town Council in Fort Porto, Kabarore district. This farm is for Julius Vigawa who started growing macadamia nine years ago. Julius Vigawa is my name. Uh, I'm uh, born of this place, Kanyambeho village, Chico Town Council, Kabarore district. I'm uh, seven kilometers from Fort Porto, uh, tourism city. It's where we are. In this place, we are growing macadamia, and we started it nine years ago. We have been growing this macadamia with a lot of issues, asking ourselves where we are going to put it or where you are going to sell it. But at the moment, we have moved a, a, a big step, and we shall be uh, seeing what we are getting from, uh, from macadamia. I started this macadamia, growing it, as a, by the way, because the land where I was growing it was not good. I started growing uh, in that land with the gonja or plantain bananas, but I decided now to change to macadamia because plantain banana were not doing very well. So I said, let me just drop it there. That was the starting point. It was just like, by the way, let me use the magnal land the way I want. So when I put it there for it, it was supported by those soils very well and it started growing very well and uh, I ended up now adding adding uh, other pieces of land, buying here and there to get uh, the best. Uh, this is macadamia, we plant it at seven meters apart uh, because it has uh, so many branches as you have been seeing, uh, the, the type of trees. So it has so many branches. The more the branches, the more the, the, the nuts or the seeds, the, the, the yield also increases. So that's why we put it at seven meters apart. And uh, from there, when you plant it, at one meter, when it, it grows up to one meter, you have to cut off the head. When you cut off that head, uh, that macadamia starts bringing branches. So it grows with a lot of branches. At six to seven uh, years, a, a, a tree of macadamia, you'll be getting like 100 kilograms to 170 kilograms. But average for me, I calculate 100 kilograms from, uh, from each tree. So if you are a business person, you calculate that you are going to get the best out of it because a kilogram of uh, macadamia nuts in shell, that one is between uh, 6,000 to 17,000. But when you sort it, you can get the, the first class is 17,000, you get the 10,000, then you get the one of 6,000. But when you sell it mixed, then it is 6,000 6, only. Yeah. So another thing is uh, uh, on that macadamia, you don't sell it the way it is because people don't know the use. It has the sweetest nut and it is the sweetest nut on the world market. So you have to crack the, the nut, then dehydrate it, pack it, then your advertisements begin to sell it. It is a very good nut, it is like a crack. So after that, you, you, you get your market. A nut inside, a kilogram is 100,000. So when you get that one, it is good money. Even if you plant 10, 10 12 trees or 20 trees, it will give you some good money. You will not suffer with the, what people always cry for, school fees, uh, uniform. For us here, it is just normal. We know that even the children can come and pick the what? The macadamia. Uh, after it is ready on a tree, macadamia is always picked from the ground. You don't pick it from the tree. Once you pick it from the tree, it means that you'll pick the nut that is not ready. And when even if you dehydrate it, it will become like a sponge inside. The nut will not be pure. So we have to wait. It drops. And it is very easy for us. Here we provide even uh, uh, people with uh, employment opportunities because they come and work in this macadamia. There is pruning, there is picking from the ground. Each kilogram, we calculate between 200 shillings per kilogram. And you find it there. And it is, no, it is not all that hard to pick macadamia from the ground. Yeah. At our nursery, uh, the, the seedling is 10,000. And we give you all the messages and detailed information on how to grow it and where you'll be selling it at the moment and the market is now available because what we are having is not enough even for export so we are looking for more people because 
we one time had visitors from outside countries they they just say they want metric tons like one metric ton five metric tons every quarter which we don't have so whatever we are having here it is just for taking to our supermarkets to supply to direct to final consumers that's how we have been doing, doing it here. Mm. With, with macadamia with macadamia uh, in an acre you have to put there 75 trees but to our standards here we can put even 95 to 100 trees because for us we are not using machines in developed countries they use machines because uh, it helps them in harvesting in tendering in pruning and what but for us here we use our own labor uh, casual labor as around and it is uh, better because we provide employment opportunities to those who are not employed um yeah in an acre you find yourself in a year you will not be less if you are to harvest very well and uh, you are selling at 6,000, it means each tree, you are selling uh, 100 kilogram from each tree, that is 600,000, 600,000 times 100. So that is the money you are going to get. Then when you look at us who are adding value, <laughs> that, one is, uh, <laughs> that one is gold because we, we get a lot actually from from the macadamia that is well processed so in terms of getting money you look for the land get the land even if one acre can be enough if it is not enough for you at least plant it in your boundaries let it create your boundaries instead of putting there these trees of thorns and what people should not enter into your land put their macadamia in future you'll get good money because it has no thieves once you bring macadamia one thing you have to do is to ask you where have you got it from uh, do you have a macadamia garden so we are still now on that protection people are no longer are not stealing macadamia anymore because even they don't have machines to crack it then where there is a bit of cost is where to get the machines for cracking because it's very hard to crack and get the macadamia but once you get that machine it means you are in business and you earn and you you'll get that as an income generating activity that will be for today, tomorrow, and even for great, great grandchildren. Uh, on how we are adding value, because you cannot sell it the way it is. You get the nuts, you dry them with sunshine. Then from there, once you hear they are now making sound, then from there you put it into a machine. You crack, you get the nuts. After getting the nuts, then you put them in a dehydrating oven. A dehydrating oven is also a machine that is a bit costly, but you can, uh, because for me, myself, I bought it online. But here in Uganda, you can ask these people who are supplying machines like tamales. Those ones can try for you to get it from the countries like Netherlands. You can get it from uh, Russia, uh, from uh, Korea. Those ones are supplying such machines. But once now you put it into the machine, you dehydrate, you get the nuts. After getting the dried nuts, they look like chocolate in color, as if they are roasted. But they are just dehydrated. Dehydrating, I mean, you just remove water from them and they dry completely. So from there, you look now for the packaging. The packaging, you also have to be supplied with better packaging. Because these nuts are going to big supermarkets. They are expensive and they go to big people. So which means that you have to pack here yeah, using the best material that will, will not be doubted. So from there, you look for the branding. You also put it there. Once when you are in value addition, make sure the address is proper. Physical address where you are, where you are getting macadamia nuts from, how you are growing them. So that information alone gives you a proper market and somebody will not doubt you. In case of anything, that person will contact you directly. Mr. So-and-so, you have supplied macadamia, have eaten, here is your address. There is a problem of this and that. Maybe it made me uh, feel stomachy. At least there, you are now free. You feel free and you produce something that is hygienically uh, marketable uh, on the, to, to, to our final consumers. So it will not be I doubted that all. But many people have benefited, not only from this, actually the whole of this country, Uganda. People have reached here, here and the, because the others come from north, western Nile, ginger side, central, 
all over Western here, people come here to learn about macadamia. That is the first part. And they have learned and they have taken some seeds or seedlings to plant. Secondly, uh, people are employed here. For example, they start with my neighbors around here in Kanyambeho, in Kiko Town Council, in Fort Porto. People come here to, to, to work because they pick macadamia from the ground. Those ones are paid. They have laborers who are working in plantation in, the, in this uh, macadamia plantation. I have people who are employed to crack macadamia up to the level of packaging. So from there, people are getting employment. And others are learning they are also growing macadamia and I'm providing them a ready market because whoever is having a macadamia now is supplying me for processing or adding value. Um, after looking at all of those that uh, the way we are growing macadamia, we have also some challenges. Uh, challenges are in terms of uh, availability of land, because when we want to expand, land is very expensive. And it needs a lot of supervision when you are growing these types of macadamia or these types of plants. You need to be there to look how it is growing. You don't have to cover the scar where grafting was was done from. So you have to do pruning. So all of those are challenges. They need money. And not only money, your eye, your eye. If you know how to do macadamia business, it means that is you. Macadamia is you. If you leave it for anybody, do it, do it, then you'll not get the best. That is the first challenge we are having. And our laborers, once you train them, three, four months they run away. Or they just say, ah, for us, we have stopped working. You get others, you also, they also get challenges. They keep on running. That is the problem of our casual laborers. So we are looking at a step where government can come in to assist us with extension services. At least they come and do also some, give us some information on how to grow macadamia if they know what to do. Then, uh, secondly, I'm looking at uh, government. We need also some help. We are small-scale farmers. Now we are looking at at least adding value the way you have seen. We are processing and packing. So we need also some assistance because supplying these products to different towns in Uganda here is not all that easy. We have only one vehicle which goes to one place, then another place they are demanding for it. And people will be knowing what type of crop is this and also they start growing. Um, another thing is on the machine. We are using manual machines. We push, then we crack one one uh, nut. But we need also government to give us that machine. A machine ranges from 70 million. Reaching here in Uganda, it is 78 million. That's what they asked from me. I found it is very hard for me to get. But I need also, we need, we need actually, let me say we need assistance. Because once the machine is here, it means all farmers will benefit from this. Uh, the machine it is called a macadamia cracker. It is from Netherlands. And uh, th that cracker can crack 100, 100 to 500 kilograms per hour. That one will help us to get the best nuts because with that machine, the macadamia will not crack inside. The nut will not break. It will be full nut round. Secondly, we need now the, the other one for dehydrating, dehydrating oven. That dehydrating oven is almost also 300 million, I mean 30 million a, a, a machine. So that we can put there like 100 kilograms at a time because they take there two hours in that machine to dehydrate. Every, every two hours, you are at least producing 100 kilograms. Then you go to packaging. On packaging, uh, we are getting, we need to get a direct supply of uh, packagings from China because it's where I'm getting the packagings from. Then we do the branding. So the whole uh, small factory, a small scale factory, I'm looking at it to be like about 300, 400 million. So if we get that one, it means farmers will not go astray of asking where is the market, where is the market, because the market will be high and we shall be also having enough to supply here in Uganda and outside Uganda. In, uh, in terms of land, if we have like uh, places that are a bit vacant, government can put there like demonstration gardens. Then once it is a demonstration garden, it will produce for our factory. The factory itself, when it is here around, it will help the people of the Toro region 
and not only the whole region because many other people are planting in Mukono in wherever they are, they are there. So if they are supplying us with nuts, it will help them in one way or the other because once the, the nut is not having a market, there is no machine, there is no factory, it means there is no money. You will just grow crops for your own maybe eyes for show people that I have this and that nuts. And it is having a lot of uh, products, more than 16 products from academia. So once now we get the machine, it means that the market will be there and we shall call the external market also to come and we get to the academia. And people will grow. People are willing to grow macadamia and they'll get good money. They'll improve their household's uh, income. I'm advising farmers, uh, those who are willing to come and get seedlings. One thing, a seedling, privately, it is 10,000. If you go to government, as of now, you, uh, government is subsidizing 7,000, then you pay 3,000 at, uh, at the nursery in Kienjojo. So if there you can plant, you can also grow. Don't just wait because you have enough land. The land that is always wasted is the boundary. Let's use the boundaries to grow macadamia and it will help us a lot and it needs all types of soils don't just fear that he will need to be supported here it will need all types of soils it doesn't require manure it doesn't require spraying so don't apply all of those because even when you bring it to our factory we have to test if it is having chemicals or not macadamia it is a direct consumption that's why we don't have machines of preserving it removing this and that you just crack you dehydrate you pack, you eat. So please, farmers, grow macadamia and grow it to change your lives. Thank you.